I just had a call with one of my clients and gave her some tips on how to use Ableton's utility in unique ways. I thought I'd share the same tips with you. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to Distinct Mastering. My name is Freddie. I'm a mastering engineer, producer, DJ, and president of Sleeping Giant Music. For over two decades, I've helped artists grow their careers, and now I'm here to help you with your music production skills. If you'd like a free stereo master sample from me, be sure to check the link below in my description. Now let's chat about Ableton's utility and some unique tips and tricks. Okay, I've got an Ableton session opened up, and Ableton utility can be found under Audio Effects, Utilities, Utility in Ableton 11. So let's go over this briefly. It's a pretty simple plugin. You've got a phase flipper, phase flip for left, phase flip for right. You've got a drop down here, which allows you to pick one independent channel. So left, stereo, right, or flip flop left and right. And then you've got a width knob, you've got a mono button, you've got a bass mono button, which is gonna just send everything under whatever this frequency selection is here to mono. And that's basically kind of similar to using mid-side. You've got a gain knob and you've got a pan knob. Then you've got a mute button and you've got the DC offset filter. So this one is only going to be needed if you have extremely low frequencies. So that's one thing to pay attention to. Now let's talk briefly about some of the features here. If you missed my video on audio phase, one of the things I talked about, and I'll leave you a link up above, was flipping the phase on one of the channels. I had a synth that was giving me some phase issues, so I actually duplicated my track, and I used the utility and flipped the phase on the right side. And I panned them left and right, so I had basically the same thing going on as if it was a stereo channel, just converted them to mono, flipped the phase. And what I did was I essentially fixed the problem by doing so and that's a unique way of working. Another great trick with utility is if you need to take something to mono, a lot of people might use this mono button here, but you need to be careful because what that does is it takes the left and the right and sums them together. And if you have any phase issues, that's gonna cause some problems and make some things disappear. So I recommend you take this drop down and pick either the left or the right. That's what I typically do. And you might get a different sound by picking one or the other. Now this bass mono button is a cool trick too. It's similar to using mid-side though, just by taking the bass out of the sides. I don't really use this, but if you do want to mono all of the low end in your track, you can do so right here. Now another great trick that I like to use, you know, when you're using automation in Ableton, if you automate your volume knob here, you can adjust it later because then what happens is it turns on the automation re-enable button, which will be the red plus sign that'll appear at the top. So what I like to do is I actually like to automate my gain knob of the utility. And let me go ahead and show you what this can do. So let's say I automate this volume here and then I, I can't adjust this because if I do, there's the problem. It's the little arrow, the re-enable automation button appears and my automation is no longer working. So if I re-enable it, now my automation works. But if I just remove these, this automation here and I was to add that, let's go ahead and put this back to zero. And I was to add that to my gain. Now I have the ability to still manually adjust my tracks volume while still having a little bit of volume automation with the utility. You could use the same trick for panning right here with the balance feature, and you could use the same trick with the mute button if you didn't want to use your tracks mute button. So all great tips and something I thought I would share with you with Ableton's Utility Plugin. And that's some tips and tricks that I would like to share on Ableton's Utility Plugin. If you have any questions about this video, be sure to shoot me a comment down below. If we've never worked together before and you'd like a free stereo mastered sample from me, be sure to check the link below in my description. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and the bell notification will keep you up to date. Once again, my name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering, and have a great day.